Hello, my name's Claire and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create a pattern very simply, a seamless repeating pattern very simply or a tile for that from a free program called GIMP, GNU Image Manipulation Program. I'll leave a link to it in the description below but just for the moment here is the basic interface of GIMP. Let's get straight into it. I'm clicking on file and then open to open the painting I want and it's not in there and I was supposed to be going to all sorts of there we go here we go and the image I'm wanting here is called summer flowers I'm opening it in GIMP now as you can see if you were to put this next to another copy of it it wouldn't be seamless this it does not match with that it's not supposed to because it's a it's an original painting so how do we turn this into something that will repeat and turn into a lovely set of curtains or an iPhone case or whatever you want simply put you have to turn this into a tile and in GIMP in GIMP and I have to say in GIMP with the right picture because it doesn't always work but in GIMP with a picture ones like this which don't have too many edges or hard edges are particularly good but in GIMP how you do it is this you take your picture you go to filters up here you go to map here make seamless and just click make seamless and it does its thing shuttering along the bottom and there we go now we have something that should tile very nicely into a seamless pattern oh i hear you cry it's all very well for you to say that but all i see is some stuff that's been jumbled up how do i know that this is going to make a tile well excellent question we can test it out in and in another program completely just so that i can show you this first of all though we've got to export the tile so to export and it is export if i were to save this I would be saving in GIMP's own format, which means I could only open the, the file in GIMP itself and no other. Sometimes you want to do that, but in this case, we're going to want to open it in Photoshop Elements. So instead of saving, we need to export as, turn it into a completely different thing. And I'm going to export as I'm not going to call it the same name because that would just be confusing. Summer flowers tile though, which is what we've just made, is a great name. So let's export that. And did I do it? Is it doing it? My computer is very slow today, but it's very hot. Here we go. And then you get. For some reason, I always like a hundred here. I'm sure ninety-eight would be absolutely fine. It's just that a hundred feels like it's the max I can do and the max you can do for quality is always good with digital art right so I'm pressing export and it's done that and you can if you like close GIMP but I'm just going to minimize it right now I'm going to Photoshop elements and I have quite an old copy so um, yours will probably be even more whiz bang you could do this with any program where you can insert a pattern tile and and if you like I can go into that in more detail there are three options but for now in Photoshop Elements we're just proving that what we've just made was a tile so I'm going to open and forgive me because I'm going to be looking very slightly for the file oh I'm sure and I will work on there being a way to have all my files in a row so I just click neatly to them and you never see any part of anything else that is extraneous but for now we've found the tile and open and you say oh but it still looks as if you've just plonked lots of flowers together how do I know this is a tile let's turn it into a tile or rather let's put it in a place where it can become a pattern let's go edit define pattern and in Photoshop elements it doesn't matter at all um, what you call the tile 
and I'm just going just to click OK to fix it in there. And now let's see what sort of pattern we have. Let's make a nice big file. Um, for exporting, you probably wouldn't want a file this big, but I'm just going to make it A3, massive in terms of showing what we need, but a nice A3 blank file. Now, will it tile? Have we really made a seamless tile in GIMP? Edit, fill layer, and there at the bottom, there's the tile. OK. Yes. And there we go. You have a seamless tile made from a piece of original artwork that will make a seamless pattern provable in another program. If you'd like me to demonstrate making tiles in other programs or tiling patterns like this, I can. But as far as I know, the GIMP is the only one that will so easily and for free give you a seamless tile like that that you can export into other programs. Thank you. That's the end of this recording. Have a great day.